call this meeting of the OIK Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 27th day of August 2024 at 5 p.m. Um, we have uh, Brother John Cash in here with us. We're going to ask him to do the prayer and pledge the flag. Right. Let's pray together. Father, we do thank you that we live in a country where we have the freedom to gather, to make decisions, to elect our officials, and to... Uh, to seek to do what's best for our community in all kinds of ways and we thank you for that gift we do pray for our elected officials and the others who work in our county government pray that you would use them and guide them and give them wisdom above all we just thank you for this opportunity to, uh, to be in your presence as well pray these things in jesus name amen i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before you, gentlemen, you have the uh, minutes of the August 13th minute, meeting, and I need a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second motion. Have a second. 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 Ignore item one, it's older. Uh, do, do we have uh, any corrections, discussion, or additions? Discussion, additions, or corrections? Being none, I'll throw to I. I, I. Post like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you have the bill to claim payments and transfers. And motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Michael. Second. Second by Bob. Any discussion? Any discussion on the bill's claims, payments, or transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed to like sign? Bills are paid. We're going to ask Brandy Darty to come up. And, and, and anyone else she wants to bring with her and introduce. And I believe someone else should come up front. They're good? No, there's better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking about up, up on stage. Oh, for real? Okay, well, I wanted to, um, first of all, thank you all for having us. I'm Brandi Darty, Director of the Family Wellness Center, and this is Courtney Alvin. We uh, hosted a fundraiser for the animal shelter at the county park earlier this month, and we would like to present a check. But I would also like to give Courtney an opportunity to speak because this was all her vision and that way she could uh, give you a few details. Okay, so uh, we host several 5Ks at the Wellness Center throughout the year, and so uh, we can only do that, and it's only possible with the sponsorships from individuals and businesses throughout uh, Ohio County, and so I wanted to plan one where we gave back, um, and I couldn't think of any better organization than to do this for the Ohio County Animal Shelter. I mean, she works tirelessly, and uh, I, I know a lot of people appreciate what you do, but there's so much more that you do than, than we could ever know about. So um, that was why we, we chose to do this for the Animal Shelter. It's the Paws and Claws 5K. Uh, this is going to be an annual event. Um, and so we really didn't know what to expect this year. Uh, we just asked for some sponsorships. And I do wanna really quick just say, Ohio County Hospital, uh, Rough River Vet Clinic, Bluegrass Vet Services, uh, Patricia Bartlett, she's a dog groomer here in Hartford, uh, Domino's Pizza, Heaving Hatchets, uh, Soggy Dog Pet Grooming, Midtown Nutrition, Roscoe's Barbershop, Dynamic Salon, and Stacy's Pet Care all came together um, and we were able to raise $1,085 to give to the animal shelter. So. Thank you. 
Before you have resolution 2024 5 concerning H House Bill 1, uh, uh, I believe uh, both. I yep. believe you. Yeah, so we, we made a little bit of an adjustment there, but I like to make a motion to pass uh, resolution 2025 5 HB 1 for the cost severance money for that date. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. What changes did you make? We took the number five off uh, the hundred thousand for uh, building fund, and we just tabled it and aren't appropriating that money for anything this time until we okay. figure something else out. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, next is something we've been excited about for a long time. We finally got our contract back here for flex shows. As soon as we do this, we're going to be able to call the Scotties and tell them have at it, and they said they'll be here around 1st of September to do it. So that's been exciting to get that. So uh, I thank you for this one they've all got signed, right? Yes. So you got a separate copy and we'll pass down? Yes. This is your copy. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and make a motion, but each one of you have to sign it. This is get our flex money. So, uh, so here a motion. Make a motion to accept resolution 2025-7. Motion by Michael second. McKinney. The second by Bob Penny. Um, we got yeah. to twist up the ropes, Judge. Yeah, there is. It's on the left. Yeah, it's the same. The page of the resolution. On which page? It's the page after the signature page on the resolution there. See, it's uh, it's what we had though. We've already discussed it two right. meetings before. So, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, like sign. Carry. Okay. I'm gonna sign it and pass it to you. Each one of you have to sign. Next on the next on it is a second reading of uh, ordinance 2024-7 solar farming. You've already did it uh, past this, but there was a slight change which we can do for a second reading. And the only change was that we increased the size of the home uh, solar system to from 2,500 feet to one acre. Well, so the home. It's a, if it's an integrated system within the home or if it's a rooftop system on residential, those are still exempt. Uh, this is the small scale ground uh, solar system uh, has to be over an acre um, before there's license and permits and everything. And we've met with the individual that, that had some concerns and, and I think he's okay with, with the changes uh, considering the modification. Um, so do I have a motion to Make a motion. Motion by Bo Bennett. Second. 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 Second.
Okay, this is roll call. Okay. Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Morphew? Yes. We got her done. The ordinance is passed. I'd like to quickly say thank you, Mr. McIntyre, for bringing those things to our, to our attention. Yeah, well, I want to thank you all. I think it will be a benefit to the county in the future. Yeah, we do too. Uh, Sheriff here? He was. Okay, you have before you his uh, uh, 2023 property tax set. Yeah. yeah, they're all in there. Okay. Motion that we receive. Motion by Bowen. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Uh, this is to uh, acknowledge that we've received the Sheriff's 2023 property tax set. We got it. Yep. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Okay. Uh, same thing on the next one is the uh, franchise settlement. From the sheriff's office for 2023. Uh, again, motion to receive. Motion by Bob. Second. Second by Michael. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Sheriff's. 2024 quarterly report. Yes. Motion by Bo Second. Second by Brian Daniel. Uh, any discussion? Bang now, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Okay. Uh, next, you have the sheriff's oil and and uh, and lease settlement. Oil and leasing settlement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Motion by Bob. Larry, you want to second anything tonight? Yes, yeah. Okay, okay, exactly. <laughs> You'll be born. <laughs> uh, first time your name is going to be written down tonight. Yes. Any discussion? Being now, I'll say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign? Motion carried. Do you have a personnel hiring or anything? Yes. You go grab them. Okay. We've got to have those. So, three, three of them. We have three personnel things you've got to bring, should bring them over. So, why don't you go ahead and uh, explain what the, the, the committee did, uh, and, and, but but uh, we won't make the motions till after we do the uh, personnel. Why don't you go and explain to them what we got? Okay. So, uh, we had made some uh, changes to the incentive. Uh, for the road department uh, for what, a month or so ago. And uh, we just reworded one of them um, before it stated must be full-time employed for two years uh, before you could go on and get your road scholar. Uh, we changed that to the employee must be full-time and it will be at the road supervisor's discretion to approve or disapprove. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion to uh, put that in place. Okay. Uh, do, I have, do I have a second? Second. Second by Michael. You got enough for that motion. You did. Okay. Any, any discussion or questions for Bo on that? He's speaking as the chairman of the uh, uh, Wage Kill Committee. Uh, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh, like sign. Okay. Uh, we got three personnel things here. Uh, I did, on these, I put up the name and, and just vote on them. It don't require a second. 
Uh, we're going to hire Emily Witt at Senior Services at level one, thirteen dollars fifty-three cents part time. And this should be thirteen eighty-nine, correct? Thir yeah. Thirteen eighty-nine. Thirteen ninety-nine. Thirteen ninety-nine. Thirteen ninety-nine. Thirteen ninety-nine. Thirteen ninety-nine. Okay. Thirteen ninety-nine. And this is effective um, here. <coughs> it doesn't say effective date. Effective date 825. So, roll call. McKinney? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Morphy? Yes. Next, also at Senior Center, is a substitute meal driver. And this is supposed to be this other uh, thing I do. It needs to be done. And this name is Peggy Young, and it's at uh, at uh, thirteen ninety nine per hour, and she is a substitute, meaning she'll be like a PRN be called in as needed. So, uh, roll call. McKay. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Daniel. Yes. Morphew. Yes. And. This one is the park. It is um, Sawyer Coots. Sawyer Coots. And this is um, at the park at $13.99. And I'm trying to see what's part time. I think. Seasonal. Seasonal. It's seasonal. Effective 825. Book. McKinney? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Morgan? Yes. Okay, let's go back to committee reports. We had the one. Do we have other committee reports? Is there any other committees man who wants to make a report? Well, we're going right on to the uh, magistrates and, and uh, county officials report. We're going to head right back over to, uh, to the first district and come this way. Where's that in the first district at this time? Thank you, sir. Third district. Uh, nothing at this time. Fourth? Nothing right now. Fifth? When will they uh, get on our flex road shoot? We will actually get this. We'll have communication with the Department of, Blo of uh, Transportation tomorrow, and we can probably go ahead and call it on in. He plans to be here next week. Okay. We'll get started. We should get them all this year, shouldn't we? Yes. Yes, by getting them now, I should, we should, yes. You have anything else? Sorry. No, 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 no. It's just, no, judge, thank you. Sheriff here. Any uh, other elected officials? I'm looking through here. Uh, any? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not, I've got a bad taste in my mouth where I stuck my foot in it uh, the last meeting, so I'm correcting myself. I mentioned that we were going to look for a new uh, treasurer because our treasurer had uh, had resigned, was resigning next July. She's not; she's retiring. And there's a subtle difference there, but I wanted to correct myself on that. So she's not resigning or quitting and walking away. She's uh, she's retiring and going to go home and make cookies and babysit and all those things. Fun thing. Uh, is there any other uh, county officials or uh, employees got anything to say? If not, anybody got anything for the good of the body? Anybody else got anything good for us? I was just kidding about not allowing any trash talk if you had anything. <laughs> just real quick. <laughs> <laughs> He definitely has trash talk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
For the record, I'm Todd Chamberlain. I'm the manager of Municipal and Government Affairs for Republic Services, um, and we're the proud operators of your landfill at Ohio County Contain Belleville. Um, at the utility lunch today, I mentioned that uh, coming on uh, September the 18th, which is Wednesday, normally the uh, the uh, free day for the county residents, uh, we're actually going to be, um, you know, offering a small token lunch to those who show up to. Uh, bring us their materials that they don't want. Uh, you can get a hamburger, a hot dog, and a bag of chips, and a handshake and a smile, and an introduction to our team. So I just thought I'd make that mention to uh, the fiscal court and those folks who are here today. So uh, feel free to come out uh, when you're bringing your materials to the landfill. Um, say hello to our team, and we'll be glad to say hi back. We appreciate it. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Uh, we also forgot the library board is here to tell us about their tax rate. Thank you. Thank you presented to us and I wish you hollered at me earlier when I was saying officials and all that you just spoke up. That's all right, you're fine. I want to say good afternoon and I'm Debbie Phelps and I'm president of the Ohio County Public Library Board of Trustees and on behalf of the Public Library I wanted to let you know as far as our tax rights as far as for this year and inform you that we have a decrease as far as again in our tax rates. We are nine point down from 9.4 to 9.2 for real estate and from 9.4 to 9.2 for personal property. It's always been and will continue to be our honor and pleasure as to provide a large variety of services and programs of all kinds for all ages to our fellow Ohio County citizens. And I want to thank you again as far as for your time and for all of your hard work that you do for the citizens of Ohio County. Thank we you. appreciate you and I've learned over the last year too that a lot of things that the library does that we hadn't thought about uh, more than just checking out books. Exactly. You do have a lot of other services. Y'all had a lot of programs over there and, and things that you can check out that's different than uh, than I would have ever dreamed of. A few years ago, you, uh, I mean, just a couple years ago, I was over there and they'll tell me you can check out a pie pan. A fishing pole. Pan. Yeah, fishing pole. Fishing pole. Wonderful. Laptop. It's just a lot of, yeah. you know, variety of items that to the general public, you are right, doesn't seem to know. But, you know, come in and visit the library and our director would be happy as far as to show people around and tell them what all that is there, you know, for them. But we thank you all. I should know it was, uh, John was here with the uh, library board because I just got to think about it. I've never read seen him at the Wellness Center so <laughs> that much. So uh, I read. I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. And I, that was, I think, the compensating rate is what that amounted yes, to. Yes, that is correct. You are which right. actually went slightly down if you took yes. compensating. Yes, you are right. Thank, Thank you. you. Anybody else? Yes, sir. I was going to say, uh, we have the Survive and Thrive Mental Health Walk okay. at the park yeah, when on is that? the 7th, 7th. 7th at 10 a.m. And you can, uh, uh, it's the same walk as it was before, but now there's going to be, I believe, 30 stations where you can learn something new, whether it be, you know, change the oil in your car, tie a tie, all kinds of different things. Yeah. That's I, get, I get to tell you how good it, your tax, how much good your tax money does, you right? Yes, you're doing that too. Yeah. Uh, okay. well, that's wonderful. That's the seventh at yes. the park at that's 10 a.m. Hope everybody will cut. Is anyone else got anything for the good of the body? If not. We will stand adjourned, and I understand, Bo, you've got another committee meeting. So we're adjourned.